Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you all a traditional Maharashtrian recipe that is the Puran Poli. This dish is made usually during festivals. So since Gudi Padwa is just around the corner, I thought of sharing this recipe with you all. So without any further delay, let's get started with the recipe. So now here for the Puran Poli recipe, which is the traditional Maharashtrian recipe, I will be going in with one and half cup of chana dal. I have washed this very well and soaked it overnight. And your dal is soaked very well. So now I'll be discarding all this water and adding this dal to a cooker. And now I'll be adding all this dal to this cooker. And into this I'll be going in with quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt and to this I'll be going in with 3 cups of water and now we'll cover the cooker. And we'll add the weight to it and I'll keep it on the flame now and you have to keep the flame on medium and we have to go to say 7 to 8 whistles and let the dal get cooked till it is nice and soft so now in the meantime let's prepare the dough for the polis so for that here I will be going in with two cups of whole wheat flour and one cup of all-purpose flour that is maida. Into this I'll be going in with quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of ghee. Now we'll mix this up well first. Adding little water at a time, we will knead it to a very soft dough. So now here the dough is nice and soft. So now onto this I will be applying some ghee. And now we'll cover this and we'll let it rest for 20 to 25 minutes. Now let us take a look at the dal. The cooker has got cooled down completely. And now we'll open the cooker. And here you can see the dal is completely and nicely cooked. We'll just leave it for some time to cool down. So now here we will just sieve this dal and remove all the excess water of this dal. And now we will leave this dal on the sieve for 5 minutes so that all the excess water comes down so now here all the excess water has got out from this dal and now with the help of a spoon we'll just mash this dal in the sieve itself Just remove some of it out.
So you can see here below all the dal is coming off. So we get a nice smooth paste of this dal for making the puran. So now here I have passed all the dal to the sieve and now we will keep this on the flame. So now here I have taken this dal in a non-stick kadai. Use a non-stick kadai. It's very easy so that the thing doesn't stick at the bottom. Now into this I will be going in with one and half cup of jaggery. And now we'll keep on stirring this till the jaggery melts. Keep on stirring it, otherwise it will get stuck at the base of the vessel. And we have to cook it up till it thickens up a bit. Now into this, I'll be adding a teaspoon of cardamom powder and we'll give this a nice mix. Also I'll be adding a tablespoon of ghee. And we'll nicely mix it up. And now here, as you can see, the whole mixture has come together and it has become nice and dry. So here the mixture is ready. The puran for the polis are ready. So I'll switch off the flame now and we have to cool this down completely before making the puran polis. So now here the mixture has cooled down considerably. So now we'll take a portion of it and we'll make balls and we'll keep it how big we want. So big balls we can make and keep. I'll be placing them on this plate. So now here I have prepared all the balls of the puran. Now let's proceed to make the puran poli. So now for making the puran poli, I'll take one small ball out of this dough. And now I'll just with my hands, I'll just spread it a little bit. And now I'll place a ball of this puran 
and now we have to close it now I'll take some dry all-purpose flour onto this rolling board and lightly we'll press this ball of puran poli so that the puran gets spread all sides and now with the help of a rolling pin we'll just roll it Just dust some dry flour. And now we'll proceed to fry this puran poli. Now for frying of the puran poli, I have taken a non-stick tawa and now I'll put the puran poli over it. Now we have to fry this till it gets nice golden brown spots on it and now I'll brush some ghee over it And this side also I'll brush some ghee. And here the puran poli is ready. I'll just take it off onto this plate. So guys, here the soft and mouth melting puran polis are ready. They are smelling so delicious. So guys, do give this recipe a try, this guri padwa and enjoy this with your family and friends. Also guys, please subscribe to the channel of mine and also press the bell icon which is just next to it so that you all would get notified each time I upload a new video. Also press the like button and share this recipe with your family, friends, relatives and more friends which would help my channel to grow. Thank you all for all your love and support and thank you all for watching. See you all in my next upcoming video. Till then, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.